St. Etienne. James Slipper will miss the Wallabies' inaugural World Cup test against Georgia in Paris. Many others in doubt. As The Raw reported earlier this week, former Wallabies captain is battling a tendon issue in his foot that caused the team's top-rated player to wear moon boot last week. At this stage, we definitely need to touch and go Georgia. Wallabies coach Eddie Jones said on Thursday. Facebook Twitter WhatsApp Reddit share he has a tendon problem in his foot. We believe we have it under control and he will be back on the paddock after Georgia. Slipper isn't only supporter at the Wallabies camp, let alone player under a cloud of injury. Jones confirmed that Pone Farmosili is still recovering and is maybe a week or so away. Which means it's doubtful that the hard-headed prop, who had a strong first test start against the All Blacks in early August, will also face Georgia. Hooker Jordan Ewellies will start full training with the Wallabies on Friday after missing Bledisloe. Two due to a knee problem. Star center Samu Keravi, who was seen training alone after hand surgery following Bledisloe 2 in early August is also skeptical of Jones' statement that he is still not training. Tom Hooper didn't practice either. With the rising Brumbies forward admitting he had a slight giggle but only handled my load. Fellow striker Rob Leota was also seen training alone while doing solid run on boxing pads in front. A strong group of local fans who wanted to catch glimpse the Wallabies training before doors closed and Jones' side was full. Young sensational Max Jorgensen, who hasn't played since May and recently returned contact business, ran freely and looked sharp. Incumbent fullback Andrew Kellaway also seemed to have had no trouble after taking a blow the elbow. In Wallaby's 4,117 defeat, we have a few shortcomings. But that's what every team in the world has right now. Jones told reporters at the Stade Roger Bordras on Thursday afternoon. It's just a matter of good rehab. A good recovery. And getting him back on the field as quickly as possible. In stark contrast to mighty scene at Sydney International Airport two weeks ago. Jones was calm and engaging after being energized while training on the lush field in quaint. Village of Collings just northwest of St. Etienne. Jones was sitting between Will Skelton and Carter Gordon while addressing reporters. The veteran coach clearly wanted to be with the young quarterback. Of course, it wasn't long ago that Jones defended the young star's inclusion in front of Quade Cooper. Now Gordon is the lead of this show. When asked how he felt when the Wallabies arrived at team base in St. Etienne. Jones admitted that all the players within touching distance of our first game had a combination of excitement and anxiety. A lot has changed in Australian rugby since Jones parachuted into this post in January. But despite the dramatic start to the year, last month's Shell election surprise, 